Hello everyone, my name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, do you want to disable Google AMP in your WordPress website? AMP is an open source initiative to make the web pages faster for mobile users. AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. So guys, sometimes we enable AMP pages on our websites so that they can load faster. Now, as you can see that this is how my normal page looks and this is how the AMP version of this page looks. Now, I might not need it because this brings a change in the UI of my web page and it might impact conversions. So in this video, you're going to learn how to properly disable Google AMP in WordPress. So go to plugins and then click on install plugins. Now you might have installed it so that you can enable AMP feature. So first you need to deactivate it. Then click on delete and delete this plugin entirely from your WordPress website. Now disabling this plugin will remove the AMP versions of your articles from the website. But that alone is not enough. So if Google already has those pages cached in their index, then it will keep showing those pages in search results. So to fix that problem, we need to redirect users coming to AMP pages to the regular non-AMP pages. In order to do that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and then click on add new plugin. Now search for redirection. Now we need to install this plugin, so click on install now and then click on activate. Now once this plugin is activated, click on its settings. Click on set startup, then continue setup. At last, finish the setup. Once it's finished, here you can see various options. Click on redirects. In the source URL box, enter this URL. Now select exact match all parameters in any order. Now in the target URL box, you need to add the URL of your website in this format. Replace example.com with your own domain name. Now click on add redirect. Check the regex checkbox and select redirections under the group drop down menu. Once done. Let's visit the AMP page on your website to check if it's redirecting to normal pages or not. So the user will get redirected to the non-AMP pages. So this is how you can disable Google AMP in your WordPress website using some simple steps. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your question. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I've already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.